Good morning and welcome to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education uh, special meeting uh, to discuss the budget. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, stand and say the flag, do the flag. Do the flag. Yeah, do the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. This is where we do it. Okay. To improve the okay. agenda. At this time, I need a motion to amend the agenda. No, to approve the agenda as. Oh, to approve the agenda as. Presented. As presented. Yeah. I motion that we amend the agenda by adding a closed session at 11 a.m. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Except the agenda has amended. Okay. All right. Uh, so I need a motion to accept the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Uh, at this time, we're going to move on to Dr. Kane. Okay, so last time we met, we left off with uh, pretty much the uh, same PowerPoint that you're looking at in front of you with regard to reconciliation um, due to the fact that we have only received maintenance of effort for funding. And we tossed around a couple of scenarios with regard to how we might balance this budget. The scenario, the um, presentation that you have in front of you is, is all the same up until um, right around slide eight or so. I can just walk you through quickly. Today we're looking for, from the beginning, today we're looking to um, at some recommendations for reconciliation and we're seeking approval for our fiscal year 19 operating budget. The next slide that you look at um, is all the same. So you can see our maintenance of effort at 1.3, almost 1.4 uh, million, our state aid of 329,000, the 264,000 that we needed to um, pay back, which is in red to fund balance is there. And so our additional funds for fiscal year 2019 are about $1.4 million. We share with you a couple of cost savings considerations, um, and we have included the dollar amount for each of those. The only one that we did not put, uh, there are two actually, that we did not put dollar amounts for was for a delay um, in implementation of any salary improvements, and so we don't know what those might be, so that part does not have a dollar amount. And then, of course, for the admission fees for students attending athletic events, um, you know, that one uh, was, was minor. I think we may have shared at some point one for about $15,000 if we had um, given or asked them to pay uh, $2. But it could have been that, I was no, going to say, no, it could have been, yesterday. yeah, that you did ask Captain Kelly four questions. Um, and if we charge parents an additional two dollars, which we had not calculated, like um, a total of seven and students two dollars, I think it was fifty thousand, right. fifty thousand dollars. But we had also been approached by the boosters to help enhance their programs with those funds. If we started charging children, could they somehow get the benefit of that? Um, I don't ever remember actually discussing it until very recently as something to go into our coffers. I mean, we had several approaches from the boosters groups from both high schools. Could we start charging some student admission fees to help them out? Um, I don't want to confuse those. Right. This was this was cost considerations that we have had identified for several months, and so you wanted a dollar value, but that was not considering, um, you know, sort of splitting that money with boosters or anything like that. And it was always was my a, understanding was that um, anything at the gates was uh, went to the schools anyhow. Well, that went to either am i right on that so too? used to or does so no it does it does so basically the athletic budget from each high school goes to pay for the officials right. which consumes a large portion of that um and other expenses there's not a whole lot the, right. the athletic budget has stayed flat for right. many 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 years as prices go up 
the gate receipts we use to try to purchase new uniforms um, okay. and things like that over okay. time. So, you know, we try so to. So that go doesn't go directly to the gate. The gate. It goes back does to the not, school. It does go back to the school. Yes. Okay. Because I just want to make sure that we're not use for cutting purposes. the, the but, high school's budget. But either. it's flagged. It's kind of flagged yes. for yes. Okay. certain items. Okay. And, and it's all, again, it's based off of what the attendance is. Right. I mean, obviously right. this year, Ken Allen's going to host um, the Queen Anne's County High School football right. game. Right. So they're going to be, um, you know, receiving a larger portion than Queen Anne's County, which has fewer home games this year. I would like not to mess with that plan at this point if we don't have to it's a really small amount of money I agree. and either we increase our funding as a board of education to our sports programs which is going to be hard to justify given our dire circumstances or leave it be and not really rock that boat I mean what are we going to achieve by bringing this into our coffers? $50,000 I mean, we're at a point of on looking a, on a five million, million dollar well, budget. Well, when I'm, it's when not you're because at that, it though, goes back into. It won't. No, this. No, this we're increase, trying. To, this is a suggestion in, to change that. No, we're oh, oh, increasing okay, two dollars on to go back the into parent. the air air budget. Right, yeah, and then and just for a day, uh, for a year, and then one idea is if the boosters want some of that, and that seems to go smoothly, maybe next year if we're not in the bind, we. We Give start to them. divvying it to boosters somehow, and because people they get used to it as two bucks for the kids to go, right? An extra two for the parents that. Both I think high schools are in favor. Principal and athletic directors are, are in favor, favor of it. charging students. Okay. You know, if as they long help. as it comes back to them as it is earmarked right now. Yeah. Yes. Not just to go into our spending yeah, no, budget. No, no. To it will go back into purchasing uniforms, which currently we're asking parents sometimes to pay for, and, and other things like that. For them to come out of their pocket for that so that's just an idea to help supplement that which would mean just leaving it alone yes, ma'am that's correct that's my suggestion but so be it anything else for this slide no i don't I don't think so well, oh, wait a minute. We are we going to talk about these the things? Well, number one, the the health care coverage that's a negotiated item, so we can't we can't Counting. rely on that. We put these down here, right. whether they were um, to be negotiated okay. or, or because not, we because because it. we had talked right. about it, right. and you asked for a dollar okay. value. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and the not funding a step, that's not the lost step. That's completely this year's step right. that. Right. Right we do or do not know what's going to happen with okay so that's current year spending right so now we um, need to move so, on to the so reduction we, in pre-k right um i am not an advocate of delaying salary improvements i know sometimes we have to take from this to give I'm to that either. i'm not in favor of that i guess Just my question is what if we i don't what are we doing here today, Annette? I, I, I had some thoughts on the process that we could do, um, and I made up some ideas of where we've gone and where what we, to me, the bottom line, my bottom line, if we did some of these things that the superintendent recommended would, would be like we would need to find 1.3 million as opposed to 3.2. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went into a list of choices that we had, which includes these, mm -hmm. and say, you know, which do you pick and choose to do? Okay. That's the way I was looking at it. And I made copies for everybody, just sure. the thought of how we could Everybody's thoughts, um, handle you know. it. Because, um, but I, I do, I'm interested well, in Should we finish this list first and then move on to that Yeah, list? I think we'll let right. Dr. Kane but finish. Definitely. So, so what, do you want one, Dr. Kane? Yes, I do. Yeah, so definitely. what might be helpful is if we go through it's so finish you can that, see. And then mm -hmm. we can. And then and we then can. come back and dissect Well, then all it. of us can come up right. with their su suggestions right. at the end. I needed okay. one. And um, I gave mine to uh, did, did Dr. You, Kane. Did you, did you get one? Here, Mr. Pister and Mr. Penn. Do you have an extra one? Mr. Penn and I can share. my last. Here, I'll go make a copy. That's all right. No, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so. But anyhow, yeah, I we can listen to your thing because I didn't see this option three that would change. Mm -hmm. And and we do want to make sure we go over that with you. So these were dollar amounts to cost considerations, okay. including the ones that um, were asked about last week. Okay, can we move on to? Um, yep. What is the reduction in to the pre-K, Doctor Kane? Oh, this one. Um, you want to explain that one, Mr. Fister? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna. So 
we, oh, if yeah. this is, I think this it's is all in. So per your request, what would be the reduction if we only provided pre-kindergarten classes to those that were income eligible? So we looked at it and I believe it was 26 students currently in our enrollment that are not income eligible okay. across all the schools. Okay. So if you take that out of there, there's a .5, I, don't, I have it over there, but it's, there's 2.5 mm -hmm. teachers, and we could eliminate a half-day program or something like that. So the, the total elimination of the program by not including those non-income eligible students would be the reduction of one FTE. But what we may um, not have been, Which is the I don't think that you were thinking about last time, is that it's not just income. It is students who are EOL, and it is also students who receive special education yes. services. Yes. So with those um, students included, it wouldn't be that, um, as, that as savings. As much. Mm -hmm. right. I, I don't support that either. Me neither. I, I don't either. We talk all the time about closing anyway. the achievement gap, and we do know that yep. pre-K helps with that. Yeah. I don't want to see that right. at all. I don't yeah. want to touch it. We already have a very that reduced that audience that we are serving anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just can't don't take think no I can no. just It was on here just to move I know. And that was a great explanation. Thank you. Thank you. I just, okay. The issue I have with pre-K is we look at income issues, and I I understand that because if someone has enough money, they can maybe pay for it on right. their own. Which we did but, a few but, years ago. But not everybody. I mean, there's people that can't afford it. That's exactly you know, they're right. They're on the edge. They may not be a farm student. But the, the problem is there are kids that don't meet that farm threshold but have significant issues that they're not going to make it into Absolutely. kindergarten. And we don't cover that. It's all based on need. And so that's... I've always had an issue with pre-K in that respect. Well, actually, that's not true because what happens if you don't fill the, the um, classes up with the farm children? Those are the next children that they go and look for to fill the classes up. Correct. So, I mean, but, that's, you know, not, the, not every school has the maximum of farm kids in it. So that. they go and they look for the other children. But that, is a that prime would be what we would be that. starting to cut down on. But There's also, no, don't yeah. forget, the students that receive special education services, most of the time in pre-K, that's right. speech. Yes. Exactly. Uh, most of the time. Most of the time it's what? Speech. speech. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. And students who are ELL. Right. Right. Okay, I don't support that. No, no. I, I don't either, so. And that's yeah, just, I, I mean, just cross it off the list. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Close enough. Dr. Kane. So moving on. Yes. Okay. Um, and so, of course, you know about this one. This is the same. These were positions that were cut from central office last year. Um, so we left that in there. And we looked at this option last time. This was um, an option where we were looking at, and of course, this is sort of, again, a placeholder because we were looking at a step in 1% for everybody, and that's what's been discussed to this point. So those were the ones where we looked at attrition for 325,000 we looked at 368,000 out of fund balance i'm not going to go over the whole thing because we've already gone over that so this one was unchanged this was also a second option and we did the same thing we left it unchanged this scenario you know again it is a placeholder it allowed for um you know, 200,000 out of fixed charges. Remember, we talked about that 50,000 out of um, energy savings and th that from Mr. Pender's office. We looked at 186,000 from attrition, and we didn't look at any for fund balance, okay? Mm -hmm. We were leaving available um, for negotiations the 1.8. And Dr. King, can you help me with our 210 that we, ju um, we guesstimate for our software licenses? That's significantly reduced from what our real cost is. That is significantly reduced because what we did was we cut one of the um, programs that's used for screening, and that was over $100,000. Okay. So it was, uh, there were several um, licenses in there that we cut because the cost really was over 500000 I was going to say, it was 500 and, made, and some. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, we and we're comfortable reductions. that those things we cut were not going to be faced with owing at the end. These are our actual charges on the ones we're carrying at the time? At this, this time? This would be actual charges for our core. So right. we have, our math core is all online. That is middle school right. through Algebra 2. Right. So that is the cost of that. I was just concerned about it cutting that, that too much. It, it would take that away, and we'd have to figure out a way to, to pay for it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, 
this 210 we, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm confused. The 210,000 <laughs> is for software licenses that we use for our core math program from middle school up through Algebra 2. We're trying to figure out how to come to a zero balance here. So we would cut that with the thought that we would find other dollars from savings wherever they might occur throughout the school year, sometimes it's fourth quarter dollars or whatever, and we would pay for it that way. I want to remind you that as we started this conversation about budget several months ago, I was completely against what we're doing because I said we have to have a line for it because it's our core program. Right. We have to, we have to right. budget for it. Right. It had been paid for with dollars from trickles here, trickles there. That's how the district had been paying for it. But I said we need to have a line for it. This puts us back to a place where we're paying for it like we were paying for it before. Exactly. Is this the Agile Mind program? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not in favor of that I'm not either. All. Yeah. Because we were going to have to use these bits and pieces to pay for other stuff that we've reduced in here that we don't know about. All, all we of that is. We have to have that program. Or we go back to pen and paper and no textbook well we, we can't have it without a program oh, so nice. we have yeah, to have a program I, I didn't realize that I didn't it didn't yes. so that's well, I think that um, yeah. Yeah. I want to touch on something you just said when you talk about how throughout the school year there's dollars that become available and I think that's lost on the public as to how that happens so and that's part of this attrition Mm -hmm. So when we hire someone, mm -hmm. we account for their salary for the school year. Mm -hmm. If they leave early, say, for example, we had those two positions in curriculum instruction, those two supervisors, one left in November, another one left in January, that leaves the remainder of the salary that we would have paid them mm -hmm. available. That mm -hmm. is attrition. Yep. Right? So those are the kinds of dollars. So we anticipate that we'll have, I don't know, I think somewhere around $800,000 in attrition. These scenarios that we are presenting to you requires us to use some of those dollars. Mm -hmm. That we don't know the exact figure on yet. Right. We're a we large system estimate. in flux, so we're going to have these kind of things happen, and it's not a set thing where we know exactly today what might be available in two months. So I'm glad for the public to start to understand that a little bit. Yeah, we that, that we don't just find money that we, we were hiding. This is how it becomes uh, available. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We, we won't have any money. We don't have around. an eight ball. I know. And I think when, when these kinds of conversations happen, it's <laughs> like, well, where'd on. you find that money? So I want it to be very clear how that happens. Yeah, but that it's a normal thing that happens whether it's a school district or, or any job. Yes. Your household budget, people if leave. you're lucky, right. you'll right. find some extra yeah, money. Yeah, I mean, it. people right. leave and, and the salary that you budgeted is, is available to be used. If I don't mm -hmm. feed my husband, I'll have a lot of extra I money. Have, yes. <laughs> um, can you tell us how much money is in the what it is and how much it is that is in the capital uh, funding that should actually be in the operating budget? Oh, I don't have that in right in front of me. I think it was somewhere, was it about 2.1? Yeah, I don't have that number in front of me either. We'd, okay. we'd have to look I it up. Can I get that before? Can you repeat that? Real quick? But, but keep in mind, if we were to entertain that idea, those expenses are going to come over with it. It's not going to help this situation. But that's fine, because situation. now we're, we're not having to worry about textbooks and whatever that money is. But we Why don't have to worry money. about them anyway, whether it's in capital or it operating. It increases our MOE. We're well, going to have that adds to the bottom line of what we have to find. But it's against the law to have it's against the law. That's going to have to be fixed. It's legal. So do that's you want to bring that money over well, two it's million dollars? It's like to be legal. legal. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I understand, but. Are we going to do that this year? I mean, I think we, we need to be working on it immediately. Well, but listen, yeah, we yeah. have to. We'll have to find two more million dollars. I I think that it's That's not just a decision for us. I That's think that seven. the county has to decide that they or agree right. to it because it for like we said before, it is there mm -hmm. for what however it got there, it's there. Right. Yep. And so, it's not like we can just go Change and say tomorrow. at this point. Um, put it over here in operating because right. that's where it's supposed to be. Although I have made that comment to our, you know, some of our commissioners, um, they have to agree right. to move it yep. there. Yep. And then they have yes. to agree I to give us the money. We need well, I think that um, on a recurring I think basis. that we should um, have our council check into that and see uh, what it is because it is it's been brought to all of our attention that it's not legal for that money to be in <coughs> capital funding it needs to be in operating budget and 
if that's where it needs to be, that's where it needs to be. So I think that we should um, ask uh, Mr. Burns to. And, and I agree, kind of but it's not a that, yeah. problem solver right for, here. Yeah. For right now. It's no, definitely not, a legal I, issue, not, and we need to get legal. Well, I agree on that. Well, it is an issue now because if there are funds, that's why I want to know what the, funds what the funds are. Because why? I was not asking them to what spend on the budget. Textbooks was 785 What are you saying? What are you saying? Do you have it? I think it's written in our... Residential letter. They showed our capital budget items after they decreased them. They decreased three of them pretty significantly. And um, it was also, here it is. Here it is. Um, textbooks, actually, no, this isn't it. Doesn't the state it's have to approve our budget? Letter. Oh, yeah, no. The counties. Right, but I mean, doesn't it eventually go to the state? I'm just wondering what yeah, the, we do. Right. We, we do submit it, but oh, yeah. the county that we all got from our budget. I understand that, but yeah. the ramifications of not being legal they, when it goes to the state is that where we would well, maybe get into, held up for having textbooks improperly in the wrong category. The, so, the, sorry. Where we're using the, the budget right now. If we're, if these, any of these items are in air budget that we're using money for, then we can use that money and use that where it's supposed to be used. Uh, just say textbooks. Mm -hmm. Say in our budget we have $500,000 for textbooks. Well, if that money is in capital funds and should be in air operating expenses, then we, we have $500,000 by, by taking it back out of what we're doing right now because it's already, we already have the funds to do it. We, like we had already spent it just that one year. But, but like our band uniforms, here's a perfect example. We had 20 in the capital budget last year and then 20 this year. If we bring it over to operating, it still is going to fund band uniforms. I understand so that. So band it, that doesn't come it, off the budget. That wouldn't make any difference. And I'm not yeah. sure any of the money right. we have in textbooks right now is this money. That's what it, I want to know. I don't oh, think it that's is. That's what I'm asking. If, no. if I could. Both the revenue and the expenditures for textbooks in your example yes. are sitting over in the capital budget. So there is no expenditure in this that we're getting reimbursed okay. out of that okay. fund. Right. If because we were to take that million there, dollars, we're gonna, we're gonna push it over. We're gonna increase our expenditures by a million and we're gonna increase our revenue okay. by okay. a million. And your textbooks that's, on and operating side are going What up. I need to know is what other items are in it, that it capital was funding that belongs uniforms, in the operating. Um, there was some small maintenance some small projects. Maintenance, uh, some that was a great but again, idea if we, that, though, that dollar for dollar, if we move that out of the capital or get permission to move it out of capital yeah. into the operating, we're increasing the revenue. You're right. But we're increasing the okay. expenditures dollar oh, for dollar. Darn. So for this discussion, it really things. doesn't. When, when did you can have the legal discussion later, but right, for this right, balancing, right. there's no magic money be, just because it's sitting over in capital. Right, right. The expenditures Still are going to come gonna, with it as that's well. What I want and it's going to create a line item that has to be paid by those funds when they come over. And I understand okay. that. I just didn't know what was in there to be able to, to move that over. There's a bunch too. of stuff in it. It's um, Well, we don't have to go through it all if it's not yet. Yeah. Can anybody tell me when textbooks got moved over to the capital budget? Were they at no, we don't know. It was it's way prior before. Okay. Yeah, I think it so, was. So and and right. and you're saying it's not legal. So at yeah. some point, you know, who, where do the what what ramifications do we have by not being legal? It's not well, us. Well, we just right. yeah. I mean, we, like who, we're audited every we're audited every year, and right. it's not um, been stated that that's uh, you know an issue. But there is a finance manual, and it tells you where items belong, what categories, and it clearly states where textbooks should be, mm -hmm. and that's in the operating side. Yes. But so. if it wasn't, see what I'm saying, If it was, why it's important to have it on the operating side is because if we do eliminate a program, so, so to speak, that requires a textbook, that's going to alleviate, again, some money available that, that the just like the software licenses, you know, if Agile Mine has a textbook with it, that money's in capital right now. But right. If, if we're going to you know Thank get you, get rid of a of one you know you're going to you're going to save money there eventually so that's why it's important to have it in the operating versus right. capital yes some of these occurred back in 2012 when we were not <coughs> funded maintenance of effort we were funded below that and then for some reason well we know why they they were put into the capital side of it not all of them but most of them commissioner asked us it's about 5 years 
So well, I, yeah. five years. What it is is if it's a one-time right. expense, right. then they can do that, and the, the school cost. system agrees. Yeah. I mean, you know, right. you're between a rock and a hard place sometimes, and okay, mm -hmm. if that's how it comes, and that's how it comes, and that is completely allowable. But the issue is that it has been there year over year over year, right. and it's not a one-time expense. Yeah, it we probably should have been that. brought back the next year and never was, and just kind of slipped through the cracks. Right. Well, we need to we need to, to fix it. We need I to agree. fix that. Mm -hmm. It needs to be fixed. Okay, let's so, move on. Okay, yeah, okay. let's move on. Okay, let me get back to my PowerPoint. Jumped out of it. All right, so we were looking at, um, so option one and option two remain unchanged. Now, this is what we did. So if you look at slide eight, and where we have uh, reconciliation option three, that one um, does a zero balance, which we now know that um, you're not in favor of, I think I'm hearing you say that, for software licenses, so it took it out of there. Um, it also, there's a change here for existing positions because this restores the PE position for Centerville Middle School. So you see that amount for savings has been reduced. Um, otherwise, it left available for negotiations about 1.4, so it's 1.375 um, for negotiations for compensation. We were able to... Um, we, we bumped that operation savings up to 100000 instead of the fifty that you saw previously. You saw the 200000 for fixed charges. You saw um, we're now at 450000 for attrition. Okay, so that's a, that's From a pretty... From significant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty significant amount of money. And we're now at 452000 out of fund balance. What is, what is the current balance of the fund balance? What's the current... Balance the it, balance? What's the current? I believe it's around $600,000. You believe or you know? I, I don't have that. I didn't bring that with me, but I believe it was 600000 and we used 264, so it's down to about four. Oh, I thought available. it was eight and the two. No, no, I don't took want to know to what's six. available. I want to know what's in the fund balance. I'll get you that number. Okay. I'll get you that number. So this 452 is puts us in the hole yes. for the beginning of next year. Yes. Why did yes, you grab that it's high? It's a bigger hole. High. Why did you grab that high number? To try to get the balance. To get to zero. To get to zero. <laughs> So it's been zero balance. So what, when I mean, you I, added the PE position back in, where did you pull that money from on this scenario? So that's sort of distributed. Um, so you see it's a higher amount for utilities. There's a higher amount a for there. um, like attrition. Yeah. There's a higher amount for it. So it's sort of distributed. Mm -hmm. So what we really we do is we look at, okay, if we've got to find $3.9 mm -hmm. and here are some areas where we can sort of distribute that, this is, that's all that we are doing here. That's all that we're doing is how can we distribute the 3.9 million that we have to find. Take from this and add to exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, keep, keep in mind part, excuse me, part of this, part of the variable is the amount that we're oh. going to make available for finalizing negotiations. Right. Right. So it could be a reduction in some negotiation topic or an increase is why you're seeing that first line. It's why I moved it to the very top in these slides because that's that one of the bottom. variables. Mm -hmm. yeah. And using it as an example, if we offered, you know, this, but because we want to do this, we have to now reduce the pot available for negotiations. That's what you're seeing there is those reductions well, I, I, through, through various scenarios. I think scenarios. that's the only thing we can do. That, so the part that I'm uncomfortable with is, is we should have some standards of what we think. Like, I don't want to keep tearing down ops and utilities and tearing down right. increasing fund balance. You know, what is your best guess of what you can live with and then then we'll just stick it up in negotiation and and so that's exactly what we're doing so here this is one this is one option that you hadn't seen because we put back the CMSPE position right. so let's look at option four another uh, option, option four. okay yeah so the let's look at directed. the next option and and of the ones that we have talked about so far this is the one that puts us in a better position it's not none of them are great because you know we have to find the money but if you look at option four you'll see that we're talking about 1.7 almost 1.8 available um, for negotiations of course the positions are the same Software licenses here are still at zero. We still are looking at the testing contracts coming out. We're still looking at 100,000 from energy savings. We're still looking at fixed charges at 200, but we've been able to decrease that attrition 
-hmm. to 303,000 and decrease that fund balance um, request for 210,000. I think that's very important well, on both are, of those. So I, I still this, I can't make a decision on the fund balance until I know what the actual amount of fund balance is. Why I I asked now five times and I'm not getting that number. Uh, I'll get that for you. But why why, why, did, go there why is that anyway. not available yet? And she's asked five times. I don't. I just don't have it in front oh. of me. I, I, I okay. will you, have to run back you, to my you, office. You can go ahead. Okay. Back and I just get it. thought it we would get through the presentation, okay. and then yeah. when okay. we opened it up for discussion, then I could run back there. So, okay. The the, you. the point I wanted to make here on the 210. If you notice, that's the exact same amount as the software contracts. Mm -hmm. okay. So what, what we would be comfortable. Again, it's supposed to be for one-time use only, fund balance. We've talked about that before. This would specifically identify the use of that fund balance for those software contracts, mm -hmm. knowing full well that that, again, would have to come back into the budget when we go to, de to develop the 20 budget. Right. So, it, so it's, uh, it's identifiable, and that's, why, that's one of the reasons I like this option here. It's a much smaller amount than some of the other options, and it's identifiable with a specific purpose. Yes. Okay. yes Thank you. Sure. And the attrition, I would think that would be something you would have a, a more of a, I don't see that as being a variable. You have a more of a so the, realistic decision. We have an there. estimate of about 800000 for attrition. Last year was about 800000 I think it might have, might have been 860000 something like that, and it's about the same. Why do we That's the estimate. But the issue, but the issue, I mean, but the issue is that you you don't want to run attrition to nothing because again it is an estimate because you don't. It's based on what people decide to do that, that we is, don't have any that control is, over. That is correct, and you never want to run anything to zero yeah. Yeah. because things happen over the course of the school year. So, for example, over the course of this school year, we needed to contract out for someone to help us do policy work. We needed to contract out for someone to help us with the website. Right. So those are things that come up right. and might not necessarily have been budgeted, and we have to find a way to fund those things. Right. So in right. any business, you have to have, you, you, you don't want to run it to zero. So your comfort level is keeping 500 500,000 estimate about 500,000. It it would be that this to me to me from our opinion I shouldn't just say me but from our exec team this is the better of any of the options that we've been able to present. One because it does um, allocate a significant amount for negotiations. Second because we were able to keep the PE teacher and then it requires less from fund balance and just as Mr. Fister said we could use that for the contract, the software contracts for one time and then move for the following year to put that in as a regular budgeted allocation because we need to have it. And it wouldn't show up as something new. Correct. Now the, the amount for a negotiation though, that's, that's the amount we would be reducing. Correct. Okay. okay. Or increasing. How did it's you? It's reduced and increased based on the your estimate scenario. on um, attrition. I think you said eight hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did you come up with that estimate? Was that patterns from before? That is some patterns from prior years. Miss um, um, Landgraf came in and she worked with Dr. Gorsuch, and that was the estimate that she gave. So she does the the, she does the same thing every year. Gives an estimate for attrition. Mm -hmm. So. I don't calculate it, not the CFO, so I can't tell you exactly which number she uses, but it's a trend. Yeah. It has been pretty close. She's been, yeah. So that's why it's good to have her. Pretty close first. the past yeah. several years. Yeah. It's like the farmer's <laughs> almanac. <laughs> can't really count on it, but. Um, can you help me with what our step and our 1% COLA was going to cost if we had been funded? The step was 1.3. Mm -hmm. The COLA was 625. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know I have it mm -hmm. in one of these mm -hmm. piles, but thank you. So 1.9. I have it on that. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it, but, but yeah, is, that's right. Is there a way to understand so, um, exactly a dollar mm -hmm. amount if we were to add a position back in? Say one more time. A dollar amount if we were to add a position back in, because I see we, you've restored the CMS PE teacher. Because remember, well, since we teacher. have the position really? identified now, we know what it costs. We were you using had a body in that before. position. The, exactly. We know exactly what it costs. When we started the budget process, we were using 85000 mm -hmm. We right. use average salary plus the 20000 for compensation, I mean uh, benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ms. George. Yes. This fund balance is $817,687. And that's without the 264 we took last that's year. Without so right. if we put right. that that's back, we'll be up to a million. Okay, no, the 264 is already we'll counted for, right. and what's left right. is right. the 817. Right. Right. I apologize for the number yes. earlier. 817. Yes. Plus and then minus. whatever we use here will be a reduction of that right. 817. Right. Okay, and please keep, keep in mind, mind that 817 is not money. enough unassigned yes. fund balance it's to run this operation. It's our emergency money. It's not a good practice to use it to fund things that we know we're going to be no, responsible it's for. It's nowhere near enough. An so, emergency but, thing that comes up and is out of our control is a little different. Right. And so think in um, terms of the county. The county has several million. Yes. You operate yes. under one million. Yes. What number would you be comfortable with as a fund balance? The GFOA, which is the Governmental Finance Officers Association, recommends two months of operating, mm -hmm. which would be eight million dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> bring it down to Queens County realism. Yeah, <laughs> let's get ready to say, let's be realistic. We don't even operate. Can we extrapolate with that for us? A million dollars. No, but I mean that's that. I mean, again, from government from entities our, and everything. That is what it is supposed to be. But remember, from our budget presentations, we did a trend, right? And we right basically operate right under a million. Mm -hmm. So it, it fluctuates right around that million dollar mark. But in the real world, we're sitting here right now with... <coughs> it's not a million. Basically with this... Like, Trying to find, four, you know, all we, we, six we hundred ask for, for three million dollars and we can't even get that. So, right. you know, we're sitting here in the real world now um, with exactly how much? 1.4 million? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So new dollars right. for FY19. Right. Right. Just something to throw in perspective here. If you're looking like just at Church Hills Chiller, we're replacing that this year, that's about $320,000. So, and that's a small chiller. So out of that 500,000, if we were to have some kind of emergency, emergency like that, chiller. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's gone. Can I ask a question though? Why is fund balance then, if, if a chiller would go up and that's in the capital side of the budget, why would we take money out of the specific the chillers that we've already identified are in there, not an emergency that okay. would come about on a yes. school system that we didn't okay. already yeah. put in there. It wouldn't be a systemic we replacement. We planned for gotcha. a Gotcha, okay. So I miss like insurance <laughs> or a savings account. God forbid we have to live on our savings to get our bills paid, but that's sort of what People this is. Do. That is what this is doing. This is pulling from that. Emergency okay. funds, savings standards that right most systems operate we don't have enough money. somewhere near. No, we don't. I'm telling you. Well, this ya. is the cut and slash day. So. <sighs> yeah, so we got to do it. Got to get it over with. So th this is the one that we recommend um, because it sort of, you know, I, I hate to even use this language, but it more evenly distributes the pain um, across some categories without taking, you know, half of fund balance or so much from attrition. The software still scares me. I guess what I'm concerned about is on negotiations, 1.7. Okay. We don't even have what's in our budget. So we need the one in one is. So if oh, we I cut see. the I see. Cola, it could cover. we don't have to have the 625. Keep, keep in mind the reduction Never mind. you're seeing up there is a reduction to the amount that was in, in the budget, budget. With, that included right. all of the requests. So we're reducing that. It isn't that we're asking for 1.7 right. to right. finish right. out negotiations. Right. It's a $1.7 million reduction of what was in Due your requested budget. Right. And our budget was For all of negotiating items. But remember, it was more than the yeah. 1.9. Because remember, we had the 2.2, the lost step, all of those things. So oh, those were in there? Mm -hmm. They were your separate. Request, your requested budget. Right. That's um, been taken right. out. Like I said okay. in the meeting yeah. Wednesday, How I wish they had the looked at those things and said, I don't like this. We'll take this out, right. but we'll fund that. So we, we had to, I think we did it. I know we didn't think it was a good idea to ask, but it was, I think, what the union had oh, thought would help with some goodwill, mm -hmm. and all we could do was ask. Um, no, you're right. I forgot that. I thought we were yeah, just sitting at the 1.9. Right, right. Well, right. And, and we sort of had that obligation, session. I think, in some of those, um, some, some of those issues. Do you recall uh, what that figure was? I'm pulling that right Thank now. you. The, good, the whole overall negotiation figure we have in the budget. 
the current step and the lost step, the current 1% COLA. We're not and talking about the lost step. Lost step, we got to get that out of I know. our language. I'm I know. saying That's what why, we why have why in the, the budget, which the 2.2 percent, the we had that's gone. Yeah, but that's, that's gone, all gone because we had already asked last week. We have to watch. We have to yeah, watch. We have we're to, saying yeah, in we open can't. session. No, about all I'm saying is, we, yeah, yeah. What's, yeah, we well, had to be. This really we had careful. in our presentation. So okay. we're okay. okay. Yeah. So we had 355 for the 2.2 percent. That was for folks who were at the that's top of the scale, gone. right? That's 2.2 though. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we had um, the lost step at 950, almost 947. We've already reduced those two items. No, we're not doing. I'm just. Mm -mm, uh, no. mm -mm. We haven't reduced the standing. We're talking about reducing now. So that we had, you know, all of those salary oh, increases right. were a part of the okay, three point nine. Three point nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So remember, what we ended up with is was five point four. Right, was the total amount that we needed over. We take off the 1.4 right. that we're getting. Right. We're left with 3.9. That's where right. the 3.9 comes from. Right. Okay. So all of the compensation pieces were still in there. The step in 1%, the 2.2%, the lost step, all of that is in there. And what we're saying with the recommendation option number four is that we have a reduction to all of those total compensations of right. 1.7. We'd have to Two, take one, that away right. from all of the other pieces of compensation that we originally included. So all of the others were three fifty five, nine fifty, and then one point, and then the step in what else? One point three and six twenty five. Yes, all of that was in there. So the bottom, the number. I just want the big number so we can, when we talk about this, we understand we're taking out one point seven out of the big number we asked for. Yeah, about three point four. To total for compensation. 3.4 for just the teachers? That was, every, that was everybody. That was All original. That was everybody. Okay. All right. So it's 3.4, and we're taking out 1.7. Okay. That's about half. Okay. Well, why is 1,300,625 one million nine hundred and twenty five? but we're saying we're only reducing it one? I mean, we're saying we're reducing at one million seven hundred and sixty-four, two hundred thousand dollar difference. Well, one hundred and fifty. In order to come to a zero balance. No, no, I understand. I mean, it was that. nothing because you know, and and Ms. George is right with regard to you know the comments because we are still negotiating. Right, right. We're just saying you know based on what we have come to, how we can sort of mm -hmm. split up. You know where we take dollars from other areas. Too. This okay. is what you know we had okay. um, to take from compensation. And I think the bottom line, if we before we can go forward with any negotiation, we have to bless any negatives that we have here. I think I think we need to get it clear on all these that are open session stuff. And then whatever is left is negotiation. We go in closed session and we talk about how we're going to cover that reduction. And that's what we go forward on negotiation. And that's all we can do. If we can't make it work, <clears throat> we go to impasse. And there's no well, I think that's why we have a negotiation number here, right? We well, have a, a dollar that's a, that's That's a if reduction to that. the mm -hmm. total compensation. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, see, I don't, I don't know how to do this budget without negotiations. I thought we were going to have, you, I you, thought we were going to have something where he had been to him last week when he said he had a meeting, and he was going to come back with, and I knew not the figure, but right. some kind of idea that he would say, okay, they they're thinking about this or they're not thinking about it. They're you know they're they're not with this at all with what we had talked about. And so I'm, I'm a little confused as to why we're holding a meeting without. Because what has to happen is you have to say what you're comfortable okay. with. And he goes back with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he, no, but we did. But I we, thought, I we, thought did we did that. We did that last week. No, we didn't. Yeah, yes, we, we did. did. No, we last, did. What last. number are we comfortable with? Right. Now we have right. a new number, 1.7. No, no, no uh, my number was 1.5. That we said when we got back, and I don't know we if we had can a talk about why. Covered. Yeah, why? 
Um, I'm not sure we can talk about that out in open yeah, session. Open. So but I don't I'm, want to I'm with you. say what I what, what we, we directed to, to. Yeah. to do. So that's why we need to wait until we go into the closed session to discuss that. But like I said, I'm I'm a little disappointed that we don't have some kind of idea well, what's at this going point, on. At this point, that, we're down to zero know. dollars. So now, it, the, the way I see it, and this could be completely basic and primary, is I think we need to know what our <coughs> primary things we want to fund to come up with that money. Is it paying our staff? Is it um, adding new positions? What are our top priorities? And now we have to slash the budget to come up to get the money for right. what our priorities are to so, fund. And you mentioned that yeah. last time, and I guess we all look flabbergasted. We, we weren't really sure where you were going with that because we aren't asking for anything other, really, than cut. We're making cuts to everything. Right. We've not put forward all of the new positions. That's done. Right, that's, that's what I'm done. saying. Now we're at ground zero. Right. So now we have to ask ourselves, what do we want to do? Do we want to fund our staff? And if we do, then we have to come up with $1.7 million today and uh, slashed out of our budget to get that. May I? Please. Ms. George, that's exactly what you're seeing here. So using what's on the screen to come up with the, the, th the, the difference, we've already, the recommendation in front of you is to reduce the pot available for negotiations by 1.7. Okay. And then all of the other reductions, if you're, you, if you're, um, comfortable in agreeing to those that brings us down to the zero it isn't like we got to go find and what is 1.7 by us that's not what this is this is in your All budget reductions. that you passed you had this and now we're saying let's reduce it a little bit and give that to mr. Farley to negotiate with all right I'm a based little on confused. the parameters that you have be what I believe you have is mentioned he negotiating with then? we don't we know. can't and that's yeah, it no I, I mean, believe with something what will be the number he'll be negotiating with that's what we're asking. It that's what you're asking that's, for. That's, it would be that number minus this 1.7. Why does this say available for negotiations? It's then? the amount. It's where we're reducing the amount available for negotiations. Think of all of these as reductions. And we, I've, so this means no step and no one percent. It does right. Means correct? nothing. So it we're at ground zero. It doesn't. It does not mean that. <laughs> okay, I'm very. Okay, confused. well that's what I'm that's what we're trying this. to figure out. I that's now I'm very confused. Yeah, so because that. Uh, so when we go into closed session, we need to discuss the fact of what we asked for in closed session last week to find out how much that is. Right. Mm -hmm. We well, did want to revisit that because we had can I clarify. We had just, a yeah. I, I'll clarify it if I can. Um, so remember, we just added up all of the asks in the budget for compensation, just compensation, that came to about 3.4 million. What we're saying an option for all of these options are what we would reduce that total compensation by in order to get to a zero balance. So not only are you looking at we would reduce the amount for negotiations by 1.7. That's what I've we been would, confused right, with, we this would, verbiage. Mm -hmm, this is all off of the proposed Minus budget, that. the budget that Not we approved, right? right? No, it's, it's got. I guess it may so be coincidence says, because that means one. That, I mean, it's got they have one point seven, which is half of three point four, three point four to negotiate That's with. If we reduce one point for this option, but so but we'll have one point seven to negotiate with. That doesn't. It, yeah, say it just turns out well, that way for this one, right? Because in other options, you see it's one point three or or whatever, but it just happens to be for this one. Yeah. Yeah. So all of them are reductions off of the proposed budget or the budget that we had drafted and approved in April. So that's what this is. All of these are off of that. In addition to some other places where we would be able to recognize savings from operations, fixed charges, and those sort of things. The only so thing that's that I how, does that make it any clearer? Uh, it, yeah, but yes. Can, so we're sitting there with $1.7 million that we can negotiate with. No. No, that's, that's what, what we're reducing. Said. But no, that's but what they for, said. But that be would be number. it, yes. I mean, that, that's because just off of 3.4, 3. correct. 3. 4 Same, yeah. the, okay. Gotcha. So, that's another thing. So we still have confusing. stuff we can negotiate with then. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, well okay. on all these, we'll better about all that, these reconciliations, and I had asked for last week, um, was about moving APA back into uh, the two high schools. And I guess we have the figures. Okay that were sent to us. <clears throat> Did everyone get oh, yeah. these? I just copied everybody, yes. And um, 
I printed <coughs> it out. And, um, but it's not a significant amount. Well, it is $500 Sharon. and some thousand dollars. <laughs> it is. Well, but, wait a minute. Well, it was 55 for transportation. Mm hmm. They made it clear we would still need a lead person. So there's your principal. You're not going to get rid of that. You it's still go need back your into instructors. The schools your principals are going to be in charge of. No, it. no. Dr. Kane said that she that. was very well, clear that that would not work. Well, I, I'm sitting here. I'm looking at substitutes. Yes. I'm looking at but we part still need to retain salaries. our staff. These time kids salaries. Are, but these students are still going to be given me, Sharon, the same teaching me, instruction. Sharon, look at the piece of paper in front of you. I don't You've got it, benefits that it. are going to go down because now you don't need five hourly employees. Why don't you? That's my question. Why don't you need the same if amount of employees? If you put it back into the school system, you telling me that we need all this for 20 kids a month? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. 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 Because yeah, your, your that. staff that's on site yeah. in the brick and mortar already has their plate this full too. It's kind of like the other discussion we have about moving some of these other teachers. I, dis I disagree with that. So but, let's, but, let's anyway, the interventions let's in this program, I feel like those dollars invested are used so wisely. When we um, look at reducing the impact of parental incarceration on the children, we've got about a quarter of these kids in this program who are dealing with that. We identified over 800 kids in our county who are suffering from having parents who have been incarcerated. Did you get the same paper that I did? I don't know. Yes, I should okay. have. Everyone got it. I'm, I'm a strong advocate. Were in April, there was 20, well, I'm sorry, January and April, that was 27 children. Break it down, drop out intervention slash CR. Is that for to receive credits? Credit recovery. Mm -hmm. Credit recovery. That is an issue I do have. So I will there's say that. 18 out of those kids that, and 13 for discipline. Mm -hmm. And what is the combination? I didn't quite both. understand the, that. The, both discipline and credit recovery. Okay, so. Okay, because that's the kids that are being disciplined are recovering credit at the same time. Right. That's what she's saying. So we're talking about twenty some students per month. But the, these are not just twenty students. There's some. It's some a serious, very yes. There's some things that need to be considered with that. We're, we're not comparing apples to apples here. So, um, so, so the dollar me, amounts are going to be higher on this program. Let me make program. A, another point, though. Some of the students. Numbers, so, uh, so let me make another point. Some of the students who are in APA are students who have been suspended from their school. And so we allow students, the law allows us to still continue to educate those children. Those children are not allowed <laughs> back in their school, right? So we're still able to continue their education while they are suspended because we have them in a separate facility. These are not students that would be sharing teachers with the general population in their traditional school. These are children, we've already said, who are not making it there. Um, let me give you, a, for example, a real story that's recently happened. One of the students there, and this is just one, but this is unfortunately not um, an unusual situation, um, is, has probably been involved in some traumatic you know, event in life um, and had an altercation. Right? So there was a, a big disturbance at APA that required the administrator. The administrator had to have the support of, of a teacher. We ended up with Mr. Pender over there. Nine times out of ten, Mr. Engel um, ended up over there. It did result in a situation where the police had to be called. Those are situations that spring up because these are children with challenges and, and involved in traumatic events. We can't have a program housed in a traditional school that one does not have an administrator because if that administrator is shared with that with the school and not available for a situation like that we have a real problem we leave the other children we have a to real know. problem okay but i do it wonder happens every day in school there's fights every day in but school. At, at this not level the, not at this level police. talking no. about these needs That's the how are other day. systems handling <laughs> yeah, that there. we're very unique in the sense that we have a separate school 
Most of the counties do not. I pulled up the list of counties who have separate alternative programs in another building. It's a rarity. We're very fortunate to have that. So that being said, um, it, is it necessary? It might be a luxury, but how are other systems handling their alternative programs? Because they all have them, we have but they don't have them in their own changes. building. Yes, portables are a thought mm -hmm. at okay. the back yeah. of the brick and mortars. That's they're already in affordable. Right, right. But well, if you look at if you look at that paper, you have it says for 2017-18 has a total of 50 students, 20 at Queen Anne's County High School, and 28 at Kent. I'm I'm sorry, but that's Queen total County for High. the year. That's not for an the, average of every what month. I'm saying no, no, no. This is for the total of the entire school year. You have 20. 28 at Kent Island High School and two at Stevensville Middle School. That's a total of 50 students all year. You're talking nine months out of the year. And it fluctuates because we don't, that's not an average, that's right. the total. So the average, right. if you broke it down, which I did um, for last year, I took an average of how many students were at each, at, at, in APA per month, and it averaged at 23 students a month is the average. Mm -hmm. But, and that's not broke down to as to how many, because we don't know how right. many of them I don't know what out of that average, and how many which are, are yeah. right. so we don't right. know that. Or but, but again, how many we're not looking at reasons. just a student without really significant challenges. So when we're talking about these students, I think that that well, always has to be considered. Well, this says that there's um, 13 of them are a discipline problem. And 18, which, and it doesn't break down um, in that 18, how many are receiving credits. And I would want to yeah, look at the situation as to why. All, all of them are earning credits, but, why, but for the 18 for, for credit, credit, reco only, Re credit, credit recovery. recovery. Okay, so the dropout, the dropout intervention slash CR, that's a total of 18 that were receiving their credits. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 18 out of that 50 kids, no matter which school it was from, was receiving their credits. Or a, cre a recovering okay. credit. So credit now recovery. we're only talking 32 children. But, okay, so when we say recovering credits, are we talking about just a kid who's like, hey, this is a great option for me to, to go recover no. credits? No, no, we're not. No. We're talking about a kid that's coming from some significant challenges, again, and that has a reason. That. Maybe and some. I think Maybe that if some. You, if, I think it's a, because of my years on the LMB that I'm such a passionate advocate for this program because I have seen the interventions work, and I see, frankly, how well we are able to intervene before a child turns 18 and they're now an adult in society and then we're looking at a whole new set of problems um, and I, I, I hear the word luxury um, I feel that, that we're fortunate and I feel that um, frankly our whole county benefits overall by the things that we're preventing from happening but I don't know you can put a dollar amount on that. Right, we, this is about that. dollars. But, uh, okay, but I would look at other, I would want to look at other students. options. I'm like we have like, other like, like furlough. Have, have we talked about furloughs? Yeah, well, we like oh, so we get rid of our teacher? We I don't, don't know what it is. I don't know, and I'm wondering if some of these are some clothes. I don't know. Well, I guess the bottom line is you you guys have kids that don't have issues. And I think well, that's an assumption you, for you to make okay. and a statement to put uh, in public right. that, that's, that, that and that's, that's right and, you and don't know that once though. again okay. Beverly uh, look at the bottom line dropout intervention slash credits that's 18 out of those 50 kids getting we don't know why they're there can I, I, if you can speak I offer, but, but I, if you look into why they're there I think you'll find no. a different story than assuming it's Not just kids all. okay Not we don't we don't have to assume and, and all of that so right. I right. do have mr. Engel here and since he is here, he can help shed some light on that so that it's not a question right. um, in your mind. Mr. Engel, I, okay, here you are. Thank you. I appreciate you um, being here. If you could shed some light on um, the situation with students who are in uh, well, no APA for everyone. credit recovery Sorry. and exactly what some of their situations are. <clears throat> yeah, certainly. Uh, good morning. I, I just want to say one thing. I know that you're all aware that the dropout age uh, was increased to 18 in 2017. So in the past, there were a number of students that were 16 and 17 years old uh, that in, in a lot of cases would drop out. They cannot drop out. That's right. And oftentimes students 
in these situations are not very motivated to come to school. So we feel that Anchor Points uh, provides a place of support and helps them recover credits. Another thing I wanted to bring up is that we've had 31 substance use uh, violations this year. And through a grant through the local management board, so that doesn't come out of our budget, we have two substance use counselors who uh, work with students and assess students. So if a student does commit an infraction, let's say they're caught with drugs, we don't want them returning to their home school the next day with other students. We feel like they need a separation from their peers, which is what Anchor Points provides for a period of 10 days. And they also get assessed. We provide that assessment for them. It doesn't cost the parents anything. They don't have to take the children anywhere. We feel that that's very impactful. 31. A drug assessment. Drug, yes, full drug and alcohol assessments provided by our counselors. If we did not have this situation and they had a 10 day suspension out in the border, brick and mortar school, they would not be allowed back in that building for That's 10 right. days. That's right. But they are able to continue their 10 day period through this system. That's right. We call that an alternative to suspension. It's not a suspension day. It's actually more of a consequence. Uh, it actually gives them an opportunity to maintain their instructional program for that period of time. And these are the students that need it the most. Well, I'm just kind of talking about the 31 infractions. So how do our numbers look because we're able to do that in keeping those children in that 10-day period of time compared to a program, a county, who doesn't have a place to send them and they don't get back in school for 10 days. I mean, I can just give you, you know, a narrative and saying that the, the kids that we suspend and send home for 10 days never get caught up. They come to anchor That's points. what I was gonna ask about, yeah. grades, attendance. So how, are the other counties just not tending to that issue? Are they just throwing their arms up and saying, we don't have any solving mechanism here? The, the, the counties I know of don't have what we have that we implemented I, I last year. So and how are they, what are they doing? Just letting them go out for 10 days and possibly. not supporting them at all? Possibly. We have the, uh, as you all know, we have the, we had the lowest out-of-school suspension rate in the state of Maryland last year. Our neighboring counties had double-digit suspension rates. So we feel that this alternative suspension is an effective uh, deterrent and a way to, to um, you know, keep kids in their instructional program. Kids make bad decisions all the time, and there are kids that some of these home lives are, some of their home lives have been devastated, and they, they're being raised without parents. Some of our kids are being raised by their grandparents. And, and, and in addition, yeah. though, it has helped to keep our graduation no. rate mm -hmm. high. We no. go through all types of hoops to ensure that students graduate. Um, with there in the 12th grade, we have one-on-one -on -one, um, teachers working with them. We are in their homes, we're in their jobs, wherever it is, we are there to make sure that these students, that is not something that the traditional school has the ability to afford those students. Yeah, that was kind of where I, I was I just going. want to make two points. The, um, when I got to Queen Anne's County and I started talking about transportation, how, why do we pick kids up right at, I was lectured many times that this is a small county, People come here because we do special things for our kids. And this seems like a very special program that is, is working for the most, um, the most at-risk kids we have. And so I, I don't understand why we would want to get rid of this. I, I, Nobody I, wants to get rid of that's it. That's the wrong word. Okay, wait, let me tell you what I'm saying. May I finish? Just let me finish. But don't use go. the word rig because okay. nobody we wants to, to get rid of it. Delete the well, not move delete. the program somewhere else, change the whole makeup of the program. Anyhow, no. whatever. Okay, go ahead. I don't understand why you guys are pushing for this. If this is a, a one-time year that we're right now having problem with our budget. And I would think we should look at things that are a little more that we could recover next year. So would we dissolve the program for one year and then reinstate it? not dissolving it. it. I mean, would we change the whole makeup no. of the program? And then not, you know, when we have the opportunity, would we bring it back here? I mean, if it works this way with all the, <clears throat> don't even look at money, look at what the program is and what Today's it does. Budget day. Me what? Meeting the needs. Because, I don't you know, think we have many of us are, are supporting for... any program 
cuts. No. We no, have said over cuts. and over, the last thing on our list is a program cut right. or a staff position. That being said, we have lots of programs that have dollar amounts. One of the programs that fell into the category of 10 not two weeks ago had a dollar amount. Maybe our approach in the future with the commissioners needs to break our programs down and tell them this is what APA costs us and this is what we lose if we get rid of it. This is what fine arts costs us. I don't think they understand exactly how a lot of this funding works. We are not looking for a way to stop any of these programs. We are looking at a way to balance this budget with no impact on students. It's getting very difficult to get to that position. I don't like anybody putting words in my mouth. I am not advocating cutting this okay. program. I apologize. I'm, I'm not you. trying to, to screw this up. All I'm saying is, as I understand what Dr. Kane has said, we don't really have a savings by doing what you guys want. Of what you're talking about well, doing. Well, there's a savings. I mean, it's I not mean, like that would have to a be million dollar savings, but, but there's definitely a savings. Do we have oh, a dollar? What's the dollar amount on the savings? Yeah, what is it? You would and, have and transportation would be, of $55,000. You'd have you, utilities 6600 6600 You would have um, maintenance of 3600 mm -hmm. You would have um, 3, some positions, I think, would be lowered because you're not, you don't need all these positions because they're going to be split up between two schools so it would lessen the number of students so you're not going to need well you're going to need i think you take Thank away you finish, yeah. okay um so yes there is there is savings there i'm not saying i 100 percent support these kids getting their credits but we also have saturday school we have online school why aren't we recapturing credits through those we're already paying for staff on saturday and why not have credit recovery go on Saturday? And another question is that I have, which I think is significant, is what is the absentee rate of APA? I would like numbers on that. How many students of these students are really going every day and significantly, you know, like they would on a regular? To yeah. Well, and, and, and we can get those for you. Um, and I will say that's why some students are assigned there because of their truancy. So we have had stu students that are not attending the main building and so we can we can get you those numbers but that's often a reason why we ask them to come to APA and they do access online they do access mm -hmm. online I think by moving them back into the school system too there may be some savings but we're diluting the interventions down to a place of is it really even like what's the point I think um, but we're also doing that just by taking these eight or ten positions and moving them into another vacancy I'm and actually saying, eliminating it, it seems them. Like we're at a so intervention? We're at an all or nothing for a few of you or there's we're trying to compromise to save some money for money we don't have we're here right. today about money so we have to find ways to work together it can't be always all or nothing like so if we can find seventy eighty thousand dollars of savings that's a staff position mm -hmm. That's but it's in the still ones. program yeah, still works. Dr. Kane, do you what was I, the do you see time? a savings or do you I, I I I have said multiple times I do not recognize a savings um, here because these children are so challenged and they have so many difficulties and our goal here is to graduate them or get them to a place where they are able to function back in their traditional school so it takes more resources to do that it, whether we're talking about mental health whether we're talking about just the devotion of teachers that we have there those teachers are there because they want to be there we're talking about children with some significant challenges and these teachers are not just there during the daytime they're wherever the kids are they're going to their home like I said they're going to jobs they are supporting those children they're working with DJS because we've got some strong partnerships there uh, because we have children who are part of the juvenile um, justice program we have a lot of conditions that are specific to students who are at APA I'm not wrecking if we split it I'm concerned about the the notion of splitting you know the students let them you know go to their home school there there are four teachers there so we've got each content area, but we've got kids coming from two schools. So now are we saying we're going to have four teachers at each location? So that in that case, there are more teachers that are, that are, being, that are required. So we've got to consider that because remember, these are some of these children have been suspended. We cannot put them back into that traditional school and that classroom with 
other students. So to, it's not as easy as splitting the teachers. They, it's not elementary school. They don't teach everything, right? And we do supplement with online. So there are students that have to take, you know, foreign languages or world classical languages online or, or whatever the case may be. And we go to multiple vendors in order to do that. We've also had conversations about expand, expanding that and possibly bringing some revenue to the district to do that. We'll have to go through that at this conversation, but there are so many things that have been tried and that are tried and that work. Some things work with one or two students. Something else works with another group of students. I just am not seeing this as a program that is going, it's going to cost us more if we put kids in two different locations because of what it costs to teach them. So, you know, so do you understand what I'm saying? I am, but you would also be saving then on transportation. So that money you could use to put back into the program. So two teachers or four additional teachers far outweighs what it would cost, for what it does cost. We for have four full-time staff teachers back there right now. Mm -hmm. And we have five part-time. What was there's five full time. full time. There's four oh, content five. and one special education. There's 12 right. positions. Five and a special educator. Thank you, Mr. Well, Thank my you. question, and I, and I know that I'm going to make parents and, and people angry, but I'm going to put it out there. When did the school system become the parents? And that's what we're doing. We're becoming parents. And not that, not that kids don't deserve it, but when I look at the numbers for what I'm looking at, discipline and credit rate, uh, or the credits to get their credits if it has to go it has to go so what was the what was the total for APA I know 703 dot 703 not yes yeah, 704 I, I, I think another thing may not have parents That's yeah and there's so much um notion right You're now still just talking on about 50 kids compared to 7,700 children in our school system. Mm -hmm. So but 50 and we're very gonna at risk teachers, kids. We're going to cut teachers. We're going to cut their pay. I, I Listen, I'm putting it out there. We're going to cut their pay. We're going to get rid of teachers. We're going to get rid of positions. And it, once again, and, I'm going to, and I know I'm going to get backlash for this, but for 50 students. And I'm not saying to get, and I've never said this, to get rid of APA. We just move in a different direction with it. That is my feeling about it. So, and I'm not going to change my mind. I don't care how much anybody sits here and tries. I, I'm not going to do it. I'm concerned about the other 7,700 students, and I think it's even more than that. And I certainly am worried about paying our staff to do what we hired them to do. And so. I, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the other 7,000 students too, and that's part of why I advocate for this because I think it, it is um, important to protect them at, during times when this particular population is challenged. I think it's helpful to have them not physically located within the school system. So I see a benefit also to all those 7,000 students. Um, that's I just agree something. With, to I think mean, about. I agree with you, you there, Carrie. I do. I, I do. I agree. I, yeah, I do I, too. I totally get that. Um, Again, I have to remind us, we're here for dollars, that's and that's right, what we're to trying to this you budget. Know, every, every program pulls at heartstrings. I mean, that's right. You know, the dance program pulled at heartstrings, and we overturned it. The, the CMS pulls at heartstrings. The PE, we, we, we changed that. So we, we have to look. I mean, at some point, we're going to have to make. I don't even know that, 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 for me, I'm not sure this is pulling at heartstrings so much as just we're looking carefully at school safety, at identifying students who might be a risk. Um, this program touches on all of that. I, I'm serious. I consider going to the commissioners and saying we are at risk of losing this yes. group of students and this particular program in the way, in the way it's structured here uniquely in our county which is a huge advocate I mean um, advantage to some of our students if you can't fund that program so how about this if we talk about what you're what you think that we can recognize in savings because I do understand that you do not want to cut the program no, absolutely not. right no. so you were thinking what you just said Mr. Maggio is can we do it in a different way a different way right and so if there are areas that you've identified you know for savings so for example if you're saying 
fifty thousand dollars. Well, I don't have it in front of me. Fifty-five thousand dollars for transportation. Yeah. The recommendation that we made doesn't include this. So if we can find fifty-five thousand someplace else, can we get this Where off are the we table? Going Where to find that's just it. We've also got a pair of staff. So, so honestly, if if we, I mean, if that's, that's what that's it is. For other things. I mean, I. I am and I get it. I get it. I I get what you're saying. Yeah, I I'm pay, just, pay to play. But I can't sit here and and argue for three hours about trying yeah. to find money and then it, it be you know. There's another fourteen thousand dollars for utilities, materials, and instructions. Well, I guess we would probably have to one, keep one that. One thing to keep so. in mind here is you're probably going to need portables. All right, we own portables, but it is twenty thousand. We budget right. twenty thousand dollars to move a portable to set it up for utilities right. and all right. that. So you're possibly talking about eighty thousand dollars just, you know, of that part to move to move, you know, four portables. So that's so something we that would have to look at. How much is it gonna cost us exactly. if we make a change? <laughs> much less compared sure, to what absolutely. we're gonna save. And we may go from the frying pan to the fire, but that's why we ask questions. I mean absolutely. we are not experts in how we are spending we're all just trying to get dollar. to zero. We're, we yeah. all have the same we're goal here. We're familiar with balance. program costs, but not each dollar within. And that's why we're asking very pointed questions. I have to Comments. say you've fulfilled our requests as quickly as you can. You've done a phenomenal job of that. We have asked for a lot of things. But we have to be sure. as educated as we possibly can be. It's not a personal preference. It's not any kind of justification I mean I, I look at some of our at-risk students that are still in our brick-and-mortar building and I'm not totally convinced we're meeting their needs as well as we could is that going to cost more dollars probably this is just like reality is hitting that brick wall is falling on us now. Yeah. That I so, and, and we recognize week. that. So, we're, I mean, that's what we're all here at the table for, you know, to answer okay. the questions, to make sure that everybody understands what impacts are involved one way or another. So we all are just trying to get to a zero balance. So, you know, Can it's, it's a professional thing, not a personal thing. Mm -hmm. So, Thank you. So I, you know, maybe I get screamed at for this, but I want to understand the, the impact of a furlough day. That's $273,000. I already heard you guys express some discontent with that. What is the issue with doing a furlough day? Can somebody please help me understand? Teacher goes to work and doesn't get paid. Okay, so you in the past, work one day and not get no, paid? no, I don't want to do that. Furlough day was they don't go it's at all. Day. They're not allowed in the building, they but they don't get paid. Don't That's what a furlough day is. Yeah, they don't right. work no, and not get paid. Mm -hmm. No, no. no. Six days, they get a it's day six out. days that they're not allowed it's in like the building. Unpaid vacation. Yes, yes. yes. unpaid vacation. I and and, and it's the opposite. which is what they're summer. And it's is. not a day that students <laughs> miss yeah. out. Yeah, so they would be taken perfect. from a uh, professional. Like, <laughs> what do, can somebody please help me understand in the past if there's been furlough days, what the teachers tend to feel about it? I don't really there's know. There's a fur furlough day, then you have, and somebody takes a furlough day, <coughs> and the schools aren't closed, and you have to pay a substitute to come in and teach that day. No, 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 no. No, no. The, it's not a, ch no. children are not no. in school. No. And they take it out of their PD. Uh, Carrie, yes. a furlough day it's takes on. money out of their That's paycheck. That's what I was wondering. Yes. But they didn't give up career earnings right. by not getting right. a right. yearly raise. Right. Right. So I have spoken okay. yeah. extensively for years with educators in our system. And they overwhelmingly, in times of budget crisis, support retaining all of their employees, their co-workers, as much as they can. Some of them are even willing to give up their job in order for someone else to take They're a very compassionate group. Mm -hmm. And they are very much um, vocal that if there's no way around a furlough day, or four or six, they would rather have that option than no increase in pay for their careers, mm -hmm. meaning a step. No, no, no. I, I disagree 100% because I think that they would take their step 
but also take furlough because if they get their step and it oh, back I'm not talking their, about a combination that, of both that's right. a possibility that's what they agree to they don't agree to no step and then take no furlough. no i said I, that's not what i said right. i said exactly what you okay. said they want their step yeah that's a career impact right. dollar right. wise for when they retire they are willing if they get their step yes. To it's have an their easier furlough, negotiation they give up their money, right. but they don't lose their position. Right. Yes, exactly. yes, in so, the scale. So, Mr. Fister makes a, a, a point, and maybe it can help bring us back to: Is there some part of this recommended option four that we are that you are not able to agree to? Because we didn't remember, we don't have furloughs in there, we don't have APA in there, mm -hmm. and we still can get to a balanced budget. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking option four. It's new to us. Mm -hmm. But how as can we soon agree as that I saw without, it. without seeing negotiations? So, so, what, so, so we so always what, agree to negotiations. So what, we, with what this says is that there would be um, 1.7 or whatever it is million available to negotiate with, with. and so whatever it is if they did a step if they did a we call it whatever it is right. that's yeah. what's yeah. available right. to know. negotiate with can you explain one more thing to me real quick yes, is the attrition how did it go from an option 3 303 to 450 just so that's the amount okay. that we would use that we would use from attrition so remember we said it's about 800 or 860,000 no, that's it, fund balance it's about the same. It's about the same. No, it's listed two. Th it's listed two different ways. Yeah. What I'm saying is what's available. Okay. And this is what what you're looking at is what we would use from what's available. Just like Miss George, you asked, what is the total amount for fund balance? What do we right. have? And we said eight hundred thousand, mm -hmm. whatever. 17. What you're looking at is what we would use from that available eight hundred. Okay. And then seven. let me ask a question on option three. So if we're using four hundred fifty from the available. 800. 800, but then you also list the second one as used from fund balance, so that's over 800. That's 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 it, 900. It's two, it's two different figures. That's but okay, never mind. I nope, no, no, mm -mm. <laughs> we asked your question. We want to get I'm you to understand to, it. I'm trying to. I don't understand it. You're saying attrition comes from the fund balance? No, no, no. no. Two different things. If if I may. Okay. Attrition is as people come and go throughout right. the year. There is an inherent salary savings. Okay. Over the last couple of years, that's generated about six hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars on an annual basis. Okay. So, so if we use that as a historical perspective, and I certainly wouldn't recommend anywhere near the amount that we've done because it really hampers our ability to do other things. We're saying Okay, we can probably get six hundred thousand. Let's use three hundred in okay. that scenario. Let's All use right, four fifty in this scenario. Okay. And the same thing with fund balance. We know we have eight hundred. What is it going to take with the, some of the recommendations that are up on these scenarios to say to bring us down to that zero? So that's why they're flexible numbers, but they are two different things. Okay, thank you. Uh, I still find uh, option four the most attractive. So is there is there anything that we could explore for either of in? them, three or four, that we could better explain for you if there is, because we're recommending four, um, but if there's anything, is there something that you don't like about it? Is there something else that we could explain? Well, I don't like the eight well, existing positions going away at all, but where are we going to get $665,000 to leave everybody status quo? I only like option three because it gives us more money, takes less money away from negotiations, which we don't know what that number is anyway, so I think we have to go with the lower number there. Well, let's think about... It, and if I may make the comment on that one, yeah. option three, it digs us a bigger hole going into next year. Yeah. Well, mm. because of the uh, large amount that you're right. taking from fund balance. And we would really have to manage our positions. And where some of that management of positions comes in could actually be in the classroom to hit that number. Right. We might have to then say, you know what, we, we can't hire options, that. that. We're going to be stonewalled when we say we agree with an option. Well, I mean, I said I agree with option agree three, with and then you throw it back and say, well, we don't want to do that. Well, well, we we like, have to, we have to, what we just said, right, was we have to talk about the impact of each. So we just want okay. you to be fully aware of what the impact okay. is. And we, I mean, we could talk all day long, but we showed you why we recommended 
um, four. You said Doesn't why mean you we recommend have to take right, right why okay. you recommended three. All right. But we also want to be sure that everybody is aware of the impact okay. of each of those items. Okay. So stop me if I go over the line. I wanted to talk about negotiated items, but without going into detail, because Not these have all been discussed, I believe. With the money, we end up with whatever scenario we choose mm -hmm. that we have to negotiate with. Mm -hmm. We can still visit having them pay on their premiums for insurance. We can still visit furlough days. We can still visit colas and or steps based on what they agree to also visit, correct? Because they still so have to there's come a back lot of the table. options that can be discussed in how that money for negotiations can be balanced out but but I do want to say to you remember that um, that health care piece that was a dollar figure that we put out there so that you could recognize you know right but that was not negotiated remember right. all of right. the that so, would be you know we, we want to be sure that we're clear on where we are so we really have a dollar amount to negotiate for compensation um, because that's where we are right but that was I think I mean if when we start to start talking compensation if we agree with what that number that number is okay and that way we can in closed session start talking about these kinds of things that might work they might be interested in this health care change in order to see how much money was that 178,000 in order to get their stuff to get yes. to what you know these combinations what they and, need and what they so want. So I think we end up with a little more flexibility on that negotiation piece. You um, want to keep moving it I'm up. I'm for for option three, and that's all I'm going to say. Okay, and, and I I just I, um, I don't want to get into um, so the, the danger of next year. In worse, We're in a danger every situation. single year since yeah. I've been sitting on this board. Right. This is four years that I've been sitting here, That's and this truth. is Thank every you, year. Annette. That's all we ever hear Thank you, is we're in danger, 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 and every year we figure it out, and every year schools still keep going. So that's really not a good way to, to put it. So. Well, I think we're in a You know, we went into this year. budget knowing that they were not. They, they've made it very clear since last year that they were not going to fund over MOE. And as long as they sit on that, in that county commissioner's office, we will never get anything other than MOE because that's how they feel about the education in this county, which is very, very sad to me. And um, so. Captain Kelly, did you want to say anything about the document yeah. that you handed no, out? I, well, the, the numbers all at the top have changed. Um, I just, bottom line is look at the, I just laid out some of the list of, of choices that we have. And if we want to increase the, look at the bottom of that sheet. If you want to increase the, the pot for negotiation, then should we look at some of these items, you know? And we have been looking at furlough day. Um, and, you know, the, the, the ones that deal in negotiations are pretty much from health plan up. So. Do we want to look at the piece of gate fees for $50,000? I mean, that's the kind of stuff we could do pay to play if you want to increase the um, amount for negotiations with the staff and teachers. We did. We dropped that legal fee thing. We'll probably have lots of legal fees, but we had dropped that at one point. So my thought is if you want to, if we, you, you all feel like there's, there are very few numbers now, but if you want to work with some of those to increase the amount on the, uh, Negotiation pot. I'm I'm up for it. I'm okay with pay to play. I'm okay with gate fees. Definitely. Um, I mean, we could throw a legal fee in there. Um, I'm not comfortable with pay PK. You know, reducing the PK. So, which in my mind that would be like about two hundred thousand more if you want to add that into the negotiation piece. But I think we're about out of um, flexibility. My thought is, let's go in. Let's approve what Dr. Kane, my idea option four, I like that one. What they've said on this, it, it, I did want to put that P, that PE position back. Mm -hmm. And then I would go with option four and maybe increase that negotiating piece, an additional 200,000 by instituting some of these. Okay. 
things that will be shared over across the board and in um, both the high schools primarily. That's all I want to say. Jen, help me with with your reservations on four as opposed to three. It just gives us it takes it less money less out of money negotiations to, when we don't know what negotiations right, are. Right. So it just gives us a little bit more of a mm -hmm. padding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and when we talk about a ninety ten premium split, and I know that that's not um, anything that's been brought up there. This is for employees paying 10% of their insurance premium. Uh, um, certain Sorry. Yes. Or, or now, what about an employee who has their family plan? Do they still get their part paid 100% and they pay for their family? Or are they on a different kind of pay structure based on a family plan? And we're only going to be talking about individuals in the 90-10 split who only have themselves in their plan. So this was just for individual. And this so concerns me in the sense that a lot of times that's our lower earners, our new people in the system, single people, the, the people who speak about how difficult it is to live in this county on what we start them out with, which is a county issue. We do not have a large um, job base in this county that pays a living wage. So I get a little concerned about that, especially for only 178 guesstimate thousand um, dollars that many, does worry me our custodians and things like that 245 people in that group 200 can, could we could break we that get down a breakdown to find out of, who they of are kind of, of where of they where fall in the chain uh yeah you can but uh, i mean um would you want to say okay you but not you and you no but not no you. no right, so. no it would be to make a general decision. However, I don't even know if that would affect me when I see the savings is only $178,000. So do I want to impact someone making $20,000 a year working full time and they're here because they've got that insurance and that makes a big difference right. for them. They still work two part-time jobs, but they come here faithfully. So tell me what you want us to I together. think um, I don't want to consider that anymore. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I agree with that. Because that, that, so, that wasn't that's on scenario four impact. anyway. Yeah, that's, yes. who, it, that's yes. who it will impact the most. There are people who take jobs for benefits only. Absolutely. Right. And they go right. work something else for their income. Oh, absolutely. Right. And unfortunately, we have a very large number of employees working at a very low rate. And we're trying to improve that in some ways. And to go back into that pot and take some more of their money. Right. I just have a problem thinking them along those lines. So I'm going to get that I agree one up. With that. Yeah. I missed that last piece, but I'm in favor of option four right now. I agree, Sharon. I don't want to, I didn't want any positions at the teaching layer cut, but that's just not realistic. I'm happy to see that we were able to add the PE teacher back in. I'd love to find a way to add one more back in. So what? I, I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, Which one are you interested in? I don't, well, I don't. I don't know specifically yet. Specifically, I'd, I'd like to add them all. I'd rather have that conversation. Um, okay, and I had originally yeah, thought because it's this a little tech, too tech thing. This uh, computer that's when we start taking away from. And that. remember, I wonder nobody if that's a lost session. a job. Right. 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 Everybody has a job. But children but are children losing were services. Yeah. And children we knew that from programs. the beginning. I know we did. And I don't know what we can do to get that over to the powers that fund this because I don't think they understand that. I, um, I don't think it is. So option number four doesn't touch APA, right? No. Yep. And um, so that's that's good. I'm in favor of that. Um, I don't like eight again, but I'm happy we got PE back in. I, I kind of agree with Beverly, you know, some of these other options that would give us more to negotiate with, um, those I think would be closed session discussions. And our testing contracts, that was um, that SAT. Was, that was school, the school SAT. day. SAT. Mm -hmm. I know we keep asking the same questions okay. and I apologize. It is really, it, it's okay. 
I hate losing those too because those, those are kids that can't afford them. Well, does anybody know when is the? I'm sorry. About that. Sorry, I just hate losing even the testing thing because those are mm -hmm. kids that can't afford yeah. to do that. So yeah, it's the testing contracts. Um, going to do it in, in the the me. SAT. Yes, I do like that because disadvantaged kids, families in general that just can't afford to have that done would have that done, and then kids that wouldn't have taken the SATs at all would have that opportunity. Exactly I would for. love to find a way to to. I mean, it's twenty four thousand uh, dollars. I don't know. I just feel like kids, kids, kids that would have never thought about doing the SAT or didn't have the opportunity or family didn't drive them, whatever, you're capturing them and giving them a, a chance to maybe Absolutely. have that number and move forward. And it, it's not a high dollar amount. Yeah, that's a good point. I know. And so when we talk about, you know, relying on that $800,000 <laughs> that we have during the year when there's attrition, is that an area where we could pull from? That's $24,000 coming out of what may be $800,000. If there's a way we can do it, we'll do it. I like that. Can we make a that and, and the bottom line is one of these items is never a big thing. It's when you have to combine so many of them right. together to come up with $3.9 million, and even if you reduce that from some of the things we can definitely mark off, still very short, and it's a combination of being short last year, being short again, according to them, we'll be short next year. You know, what is the end? fixed charges? What, what do we put in that? What that's where all your benefits, <coughs> FICA, Medicare, health insurance, it's also where we're hoping through the open enrollment to, to garner some savings in our health expenditures by um, dependent verification and coordination, um, of, benefits. coordination of benefits. That was the word I was looking for. Thank you. D the double um, yes. double insurance thing that we just talked about. I, 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 I think I'm going to go in the wrong direction here, but I'm, I meant, I mean, I think we should reinstate that <laughs> testing. The twenty four thousand. For twenty four thousand, yeah, I'd be willing to she, go to gate fees for that or something. Well, they. I'm they, sorry, we're going the wrong direction. <laughs> it's okay, but, but it what is, I said was, a, if there's a way that we can yeah. do it, then we'll do it. Yeah. I mean, we still, I think, need to take it off of here because we do. But if there's a way for the service itself, mm -hmm. if there's a way that we can do it, then we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would and, rather we guarantee we're going to do it. That, that yeah, is I want to. If we're going to get down to it, I want to make sure that that gets back in if we okay. can. If, I if mean, we can, at least I would okay. vote that way. Oh. Um, I don't know. If th I feel like this is a good conversation to have just for the public because this is what I run up against, and I don't know what people's commentary are going to be on it, but I just want to address it. One of the challenges I keep hearing is this translation between the private business world and, and government employees, and it's like, well, you know, we've taken a hit. We've done so poorly, so you guys can't have your COLA, and you guys can't have your STEP, and I just feel like I'm up against that quite often when I'm explaining these kinds of things. I don't know if that's even worth having a conversation about, but that, that is one of the reasons why I hear people saying, well, you guys don't deserve anything. The economy in general took a hit. The economy isn't that bad. <laughs> I know, but I'm telling 2%. you, there's a you know, definite culture difference between the private business world and, and people who are, are not private business. And Keep in mind, I think there's a misconception that the majority of our steps carry a huge increase. They do not. They're very minimal. When you mix the step from some of these positions with a 1% COLA, you might be lucky to get a 2% increase. So when historically the county employees get 2 and 3% and we can't come close to that, then the disparities show. And if we don't keep these employees in this county as mortgage owners, holders, landowners, people who buy things at our local businesses, this county will not survive. They don't yeah, want to raise taxes and they don't want to pay people. Mm -hmm. They don't want to educate children at the level that we deserve to educate them at. Mm -hmm. so we are the largest employer out. in Queen Anne's County. We are. So would it, with regard to um, budgeting the 24000 we can do it, we can put it there with fund balance um, as a one-time, you know, expense uh -huh. along with those um, software licenses. So reduce so the 24 and increase the, the 210. Right. Mm -hmm. The 234. Then that you, you're gonna, getting more and more nervous with the fund balance. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> it's okay. Still way lower than it was. For are you having a panic attack yet? we are this year. So <laughs> I, 
I would be comfortable with that. I, yes. I advocate for that. I How do you feel about do. in school SATs? I don't care. Glad yeah, you brought that up, Carrie. Thank you. Got that. It's such a minimum. I mean, twenty four thousand and the benefit we would get out of it. That our students would get. But let, let's back up. I mean, Jennifer has some really good points about option three. So that same thing exists here at 24. Now, granted, do we want to go from 452 to 476? Um, I don't think so. But if we did gate fees, we know we'll get half the 24 from that. I mean, she has negotiating points here. Mm -hmm. But those two bottom fees really scare me. But they, um, the yeah, the four fifty and the so close to it. The yeah, really close. Yeah. Yes. But, okay. Again, it just creates a bigger hole that we would have to fill with the first. Using that as an example, so first four hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars of new money fills the hole. Mm -hmm. Couldn't use it for anything else. And this Filling year all. we had two thirty-four, right? Yeah, so you're, you're doubling your hole. So we're doubling our hole starting next year. I mean, only fun. So we didn't mm -hmm. we didn't fill in on what we took from last year. Is that what you're saying? No, we did. Well, oh, we did. Yeah. So then our fund balance isn't eight hundred and seventeen. They knew. No, that. that was that was last year's. Our, our fund issues. balance is a million. Is is the eight hundred and seventeen include what we took out of it last year? Yes. Yeah. So a million minus the two that we're That's funding right. this year brings us down to the eight. Right. You're right. Okay. So the the. Fund balance is getting so low. It makes you nervous. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I get it. So I, I always look at, like, what's the best case scenario and the worst case scenario that happens when our fund balance is low. Maybe you can explain that. So if for some reason uh, fund balance, if, let's just say we had a very bad winter or an unexpected repair or something, like, we would ha have to be going over to, because we can't end with a negative right. budget. We would actually have to go over and ask county commissioners for additional appropriation. So that's back to the chiller example that... Right. And so does that happen in the past where we've reached that point and we say, hey, county commissioners, we can't replace this chiller because we just don't have the money? No. We've always had a fun, decent fund balance. We haven't had to do um, that. No. And, and there's, you allow for some cushion in your heating oil propane because you just never know where if you're going to have a polar vortex or you're going to have something else come through. That's, a polar vortex? Remember we had what that, that one, polar sub, sub zero for... So oh, oh so, that's yeah, the polar vortex. I mean, it, it takes a strain right. on just like your own utility bill. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you don't want to budget so low and that you're not yeah. having that. But I'm wondering, you know, with years at just MOE, are we reaching a place where this is the situation we're going to be set up in? You know, I, I'm sorry, this is what happens when you only get MOE each year. And then we are forced to then go to you when our chiller breaks because we have exhausted our resources. If we are funded at MOE year over year, we are never, we are not going to get that. This is going to be exacerbated. The difficulty mm -hmm. that we are having now, mm -hmm. we're going to continue to have this mm -hmm. and some more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's twice as and bad I, as because we should be upfront about that. Continue to increase exactly. right. on the same dollars. Right. And I keep explaining that. Does your household run this the exact same last year as it did this year, or have your prices gone up in your house? I know mine have. So you know that's then you take that and you extrapolate it to a huge system like we are so I think that that's just good for all of us to to note to the public that um that and the commissioners you know a year after year at MOE chiller breaks polar vortex sorry guys we now have to come to you because we have nothing left here so just being gasoline. honest about that for the future gasoline is going up every day now granted we pre-buy that I always forget that but still we could find ourselves with not enough money to put gas yeah. in our school buses. I mean, I, I just don't so we're, get what they don't we, get. We, we, we may need to make a decision yeah. because July 1st. Yeah, yeah, so the that. negotiations, oh. too, they're, they're, they work under the July 1st deadline just as we are. So when uh, Mr. Farley comes back, he will be meeting with them. I don't have the dates in front of me, but I know that he has. He told you last week, I think, that he had dates. Mm -hmm. uh, schedule for meeting so we know that he has them but and they still but, have to come together but historically it's happened that that doesn't always happen pre budget requirement we are required to have a budget by July 1st right. correct correct 
negotiations aren't required for that budget. We have had times in the past where we didn't fulfill our negotiations and complete them until well beyond that. It's not a practice I'm advocating for. Next year, I'd like to see us start about this time for the yeah. following okay. year. But I'm saying we, that's not a stopping August. point for us. Mm -hmm. I guess what we're at, um, Sharon, if we agree as a group what this negotiating number is going to be, and that could settle. And they negotiate and they, well, based they on the no, amount. We drag it out. Right, right. I mean, it, but I see Jennifer's point. I mean, Jennifer does have a real negotiation point here with dollars. But it does jeopardize other things. I'm doing the option three as opposed to four. So I, keep the I like everything on option four. But I have serious reservations about the negotiated item as well. Um, I, I just, I just don't know. Well, we can go in closed session and always come back if we have to. This is true. Thank you, Annette. I'm available till two. Not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we came at 9 a.m. <laughs> So, I mean, what would that change in closed session? Well, we give we get an hour here if we mm -hmm. go now. Mm -hmm. What would we get in closed session? We can talk more freely about things like this than we can out here. Yeah, confidential negotiation stuff. Yeah. So do you want to? Yeah, we need yeah. to close. Yeah. I mean, we need to go into closed session. Pursuant to the general provisions, Article 3-305 and 3-104, I move we go into closed session to discuss matters that relate to negotiations, to discuss the appointment, resignation, or performance of employees um, that this public body has jurisdiction over. Uh, can I have a yes for a second, Annette? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Thank you. At this time, we'll be going into closed session. So help me again. So we say what you said. Okay. We will reconvene at 12 o'clock, and then at 12 o'clock, he's going to go ahead and record. Welcome back to our open session. Do we need we a whole now, hour? Well, can if we, we don't. Can he just come back if we go into it? I mean, yeah, I, I hate all this fake stuff because it's screwing up the minutes. Uh, you know, the in, out, in, out. Three people were here. Five people were there. <laughs> Poor Jockey. Screwing up yeah, the minutes. It it's no. just, um, Poor all of you guys. Oh, we yeah. did. That, did the that's because we had two closed sessions that you recused from, and and we had to go back in. No, but it but to the, both of them. Yeah, because it shouldn't. It messed up the minutes because it ended up five zero. We did this, but I was right, there. Right, Jeff. It was a mess. I just hate the fake stuff. We are now going into closed session, and we'll re reconvene at twelve p.m. I should say 1.9. We'll probably need the Welcome back to dollars. open session. <laughs> I won't round it. Dr. King. Okay, so we are still at a place where we need to make some decisions about um, our reconciliation of the budget. So, of course, again, just a quick overview. We're, we're looking at two different options on the presentation, option three, um, and that leaves about $2 million for negotiations. Um, it pulls about, um, I'm just going over the, the big pieces. The um, attrition would, um, we'd pull about 450000 from that. We'd pull about 450000 just over that for fund balance, um, and the other items stay the same. For option four, we're looking at about $1.7 million for negotiations, and then about two. I'm sorry, about 210 for fund balance and about 300,000 just over that for attrition that we take from attrition. Mm -hmm. We were moving testing contracts out and making that zero on both, correct? Right. So Adding we'll, we'll it do to correct any thank of the you. Others. So we'll, we'll put that 24,000 mm -hmm. down at fund balance and work on um, a budget allocation right. for FY20 making it a one-time expense. Right. If it's a one-time expense, uh, is there any way it could be in capital? No? We don't want to. Mm -mm. That's how we got ourselves into, into trouble. <laughs>
Were you looking at option three or option four? Do, do I just mentioned know? both of them. I just okay. went over the highlights oh, okay. of both of them. And so that. we have to, you know, I know that there may be some additional comments or maybe some additional questions for either of those options. We're certainly open to um, answering any questions that may still be lingering, open to any comments, suggestions. Well, I think we could just go around the table and say what option we're, um, each one of us are thinking about, and then um, I guess we can just vote on it. So um, I'm for option three. I'm option three. Is option three, we are we taking that 24000 and putting it down the fund balance? We're doing that with both. Yes. With both, mm -hmm. yes. So the fund balance is now 470. 470, yeah. yeah. 476. Um, I'm four. Four. Sorry. I'm four, four. I'm for option four. I can't go 476 since we did and really get in trouble. Because we start out next year with 476. Carrie. I am for option three and with the 24,000 for the SAT. They it, both have that. Right, right. So that option three, but the numbers would just change slightly with the fund balance being at 476. Mm, that's a lot. 234 Are is you of course saying the option three. 76. It over doubles. So what question could we answer for you? <laughs> so I, ju I just want to be clear that I just, I just want to be sure, and this is not to sway yeah. your decision. So if you want me to stop talking now, I will stop talking now. Yeah. I mean, I stop. see the fear on Mr. Fister's face about okay. the fund balance going up. Um, and we talked about worst case scenarios. Um, we're sort of in a bad case scenario right now as it is. Um, could I ask you guys a favor? Can you give me a little bit of reasoning behind because um, you're th you're three and you're three and you're four and you're th four four all right so it's take turn. two option three and two option four my my reason for option three is first and foremost my priority as a board member is to pay our staff mm -hmm. staff has one-to-one -one contact with their students their most important person that we have in in anything I mean we can cut programs or we can add programs but if we don't pay our staff we're not going to have staff members to implement the programs so option three provides enough money to negotiate um, what we have asked Mr. Farley to go forward with and it was two uh, it was two two Yes, yeah. two million. That's what I thought. On option three, and that would give them um, enough to negotiate the the staff. What would, well, no, well, no. What, we what can't we, talk about no, negotiation. No, no, no. Okay. What we asked Mr. Farley mm -hmm. to do, what we yes. talked about in closed session, that gives the amount to for Mr. Farley to be able to go and ask for that. And option four gives him only less. No. Yes. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand dollars less. No, I, I said four because, you know, I was go going back to three, back to four. Um, I, I think at this point we're at, um, we just have to go into negotiation with something different. And if we end up with whatever we told Mr. Farley to do, um, if that comes back, you know, things are changed. We haven't got it straight. And we may, you know, we may be able to use that negotiation for one one or group in negotiation, but the rest we may have to, to do something different because I do not want to sit here with $476,000 in the hole when we try to start budgeting next year. I have, mm -hmm. I have a problem with that. That's a, We're struggling right now with 234. And That's already been paid back. 264. The 264, 264 but it's coming back. out of this budget. Yes. So next year, next year we right right off the bat loose almost right. $500,000. Right. So right. we end up below MOE if 
because it would give us a million. Yeah, you'd have that's to take my, it out of that's million. That's why I just I just don't want to start next year like that again. Mm -hmm. I think we're being <laughs> fair with our bargaining units. With that no, having money. teachers, it won't make any difference. That amount of money. So I'm for four because I can't justify going five hundred thousand dollars down in order to meet an imaginary negotiating number that we really don't know where it's going to end up anyway. Um, we can, we can only balance it. we yeah. can only work with and give what we have and to take almost five hundred thousand dollars for salaries out of fund balance I think is a real dangerous situation. But as you just said we don't we don't know what our negotiations are. It well, we know less. they're not going to be and less it, than what you less, added up. If it is less, then then we put it back into the Wait a minute. Wh why would they be less if these are the well, three the, items? Well, the three numbers that we came up with, which it was for one bargaining them unit, up, though. It wasn't for all of them. It was that, just for one bargaining unit. That's my unit. point in that. Yeah, what? So the rest that were That were really more here than is necessary, and we're taking it from here. It wasn't just one bargaining unit, it was two. It was three. Oh, no, two. I'm sorry. Yes. Two. Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was just one. No, that's the only one he hadn't talked to. No, the third, I, the third number that we talked mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. about the step, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's a whole nother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, I thought it was just for mm -hmm. Yeah. The number Annette remembered, thank you for remembering well, that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a reality yes, in there. That needs to be a, a part of the bottom dollar. To, yes. And up until five minutes ago, that wasn't a part of it. Right. So, yes, mm -hmm. I, I certainly understand that. Um, but hmm, I think I can say with option four, well, I don't know, maybe not, that we could meet that obligation, but maybe we, we are sure. I'm starting to feel like, you know, we're being as fair as we can with the bargaining units underneath um, the situation that we're in with option number four and um, um, acknowledging that the fear of the low uh, fund balances is a real issue. But we're short in our dollars for negotiation. Right, right. We are short. So, so what, we're what that short does. short one place yeah. or but, take but it what, from but, another place. But what that does that is that says, okay, this is the amount that we can allocate and go back and they can work it so that everybody gets something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that. Um, I think that's mm -hmm. what your goal is for everybody to get something. Mm -hmm. And if they wanted more than that, they would have to bring something back to us in order to get to that, like a furlough day or or something else. Correct. Well, hopefully if they wanted way more. But than I, 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 we're, we're, we're getting we're getting yeah. off we're getting yeah. off a topic here right. because this is what's before us three or four, and it it lists everything in there. You either do three million or two million dollars, go into negotiations with two million dollars, or you go in with uh, one point seven. So oh, I have that's 1. where 4. it is right there. One point seven, uh, you know, half a three point. So that's I'm, that's I'm what still for. Sorry, that's fine. I'm going to go with option four. Um, That's fine. I do think we're trying to be as fair as we can with our bargaining units. I, I do agree with Dr. Kane, you know, for everybody to get something. I also, you know, it's tough. We're, we're trying to work with some imaginary number because we don't have the negotiations done at this point. I'm going to go with option number four. That's fine. So all in favor of... Um, can, can I read what I believe is yeah, the, sure, the motion? Yeah, sure, go ahead. So you're going to make a motion to approve the reconciliation recommendation and other changes um, deemed necessary, and we can have a conversation about this, by the board 
uh, um, to meet the needs of Queen Anne's County Public School students and to direct the superintendent to distribute the final FY19 approved operating budget amount of 91,000, uh, I'm sorry, 91 million nine hundred six thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars, which includes the use of two hundred and thirty four thousand dollars in fund balance among the major expenditure categories as needed to support the programs and services. I think we have to do this first. Or do we do all no, that? No, that's what you, that, that, that is what, that is yeah, what we, she, we just, is. This, we, this, we this did is it with the four. ways. Okay. So, okay. depending okay. upon where you sit. Okay. Exactly. It's going to be 234 okay. because we added the, tw uh, you oh, want okay. us to add fine. the 24. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so I need to read that then. Because I can't remember all that. No worries. All right, so I make a motion to approve the superintendent's reconciliation recommendation and other changes deemed appropriate by the Board of Education to meet the needs of the Queen Anne's County Public School students and to direct the superintendent to distribute the final FY 2019 approved operating budget amount of $91,906,833, which includes the use of $234,000 in fund balance among the major expenditure categories as needed to support programs and services offered in Queen Anne's County Public Schools. That so I need a motion or uh, that is the motion. So, I second. Um, motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. 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 The ayes have it. That's it. Well, I have a question. No, nope. it's it done. If you, I know. If I know. You voted I, know. On it, I just done. need a clarification. I'm not okay. changing my vote. Okay. No, I'm. But it's not anything that has to yes. be done out here. It's just a total. Do you want to ask a question, Ms. Arlo? So we're a hundred. Are we Oops. still on camera? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're a hundred and sixty-four short. If we do um, what we gave Mr. Farley. But we aren't. We don't have to live by that. No, but I'm not going to budge off but that. You, I'm not rounding. budging off that either. Yeah, no, that's okay. one. Yeah, it's fine. It and rounds. one. And the scale change. Okay. You want to adjourn? Yes. Oh, good lord! Put the paper in here. It still didn't add up to me. Okay. I thought we were we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. You want to say anything about next week? Are you, um, no, we don't have to have. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so um, the uh, tentative um, meeting for the twenty seventh, twenty seventh, will now be canceled because the budget has been taken care of. Right. So thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you for our July meeting.